Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther and I'm a fine artist. It has been such a interesting and amazing journey so far with YouTube channel. And as I ask you guys with every next video to give me suggestion of what to post and what to talk about and most of you saying that I show you more of how my process actually looks like so today for this video I thought I would show you how I started some of my pieces so my process is different time to time sometimes I love to start first with a drawing and then add like different layers but sometimes I just go with abstract first and see what the painting wants to be so today I'm showing you how I start some of my paintings with inks and as you can see here um, I have to, I'm working right now on the series of mini paintings and this has already two stages uh, collage and inks and that's what I will be showing you today and for this ones I did drawing part first and then I added collage and inks, but today I I don't really know what I'm gonna do for this other two minis that I have here. Let's start. Isn't new canvas and opening it just the most satisfying feeling ever? Um, I have this textured paper I want to use for collage. It's like some just random patterns. And I love to have kind of free. Loose edges, so it's like more orga organically intertwined into the painting, and you can really see uh, where is the painting, and where is the paper, and where is the paint. So, yeah, I'm just like playing around, trying to see what will be the best position, even in this abstract part, I love to like have some interesting in placement. Yeah, this is about good. So this just will add some extra interesting visual texture to my pieces and sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I love using collage paper and sometimes you can buy it in this art supply store and sometimes you can just find the patterns you love and print them at really thin paper. And sometimes I also love to use uh, music notes just some poetry I found inspiring so even if it's like cover with paint afterwards it still like carries some meaning that was in the poetry and it's intertwined in the piece so this makes it even more interesting um, when people stare at your painting and they see something like written underneath the layers and it's really cool after I placed uh, the composition and I love it I using gel medium. You can buy any kind that works that you can find in your local art supply store. Um, 
basically it's kind of a glue and I use this scrape tool which is like soft and nice for this purposes. So I cover the area underneath the paper and then also over so it unifies the layer and it doesn't look like it was sticked and glued over, it just like looks really organically and honestly I really love these techniques and because I love patterns Another really great technique I learned it from uh, the Milan Art Institute. So, if you guys ever wanted to do a really amazing, intense art school, just try this one. You will not be disappointed. It basically teach you how to become a professional artist in just one year. And super uplifting and inspiring and I know can't say enough <laughs> and sometimes you can also use some modeling paste uh, on top of the gloss gel when it's already dry and if you use it like also at the mostly in the edges it will give like even more texture and blend it with the canvas layer even like more smoothly and unified at all so I'm just uh, waiting for the gloss gel to dry so I'm not gonna use it this time and also because uh, I think um, the gloss gel only is enough for this one at least so yeah but you can use both and guys really quick tip for taking care of your art supplies just remember to wash everything you use in these different mediums right away like the scrape tool like i got it all in the modeling paste and gloss gel and i just washed it because if it will dry out it's just gonna ruin your tools in the long run which is not really good because you don't want to spend money on new art supplies all the time you want to invest in good art supplies and take good care of them while these two are drying over there i'm gonna start with some inks on this canvas and first add slightly water on the surface so it would be ready to go Shake it well. And the thing I really love about using inks in my process is that it gives this really spontaneous look and you can't really control the outcome. add more water after also inks create such a beautiful visual texture and I just use it like a background and I cover it in most places but I found like I choose the places I love how it turned like out on the ink stage and I leave them and not cover them so they show up through the layers use baby oil 
make some bubbles and just things like that. And when it's completely dry, you can just wipe it off from the canvas, all the oil, because you don't want an extra oil just stay on the surface. While you're working with inks, it's important to have lots of paper towels. Also, what you can do, I'm gonna kind of demonstrate it on paper. So you can create some lines, draw with water first. So it will take the shape when you add pigment I just really enjoy and love this technique That's my favorite brand to use, Dr. Martens. But I order them all the way from Stoots. But here in Ukraine, uh, we only have this one available and it's still hard to find. And Ira Color is a great too. Sometimes you can find this one and it's more easily to be found in Europe. But all of them are great. Sometimes I even use this like small, uh, more affordable version of drawing ink, which is good too, but it just like don't really have a good point, but still works. It's just like not moving that well. So that's how one version of my first stage for some of my paintings uh, may look like and as I told you in the beginning so after this dries I gonna use same technique I, I did with this canvas and put some inks on the top of this collage paper and when it will be dry I will add some drawing some like flower or bird because it's minis and I'm just trying to create a series because I never work that small on the canvas so yeah that's the project and that's how I'm starting it all up and I hope this video was helpful for you guys and you enjoyed it and I will see you next week bye